Hey YouTube, it's Penny. On July 14th, uh, I had a dream that most people would call a rapture dream. I was in a country farmhouse and I understood that many people had been taken and that I was left behind. And my comment was, my boots are still on the ground. And then I woke up. So boots on the ground is a military term. It's a warfare term. And this dream reminded me of a word that I had heard back on March 13th that said, um, the rapture is in two pieces. And the scripture that I received at the time was 2 Maccabees chapter 1 verse 26 to 29, receive the sacrifice for your whole people, Israel, and preserve your own portion and sanctify it. Gather those together that are scattered from us. Deliver them that serve among the heathen. Look upon them that are despised and abhorred and let the heathen know that you are our Elohim. Punish them that oppress us and with pride do us wrong. Plant your people again in your holy place as Moses has spoken. So I'm not sure. I know there are a lot of people that think, you know, we're out of here any moment and no man knows the day or the hour and all of that. Um, I, I've been shown many different times now um, that it's not what we've been taught <laughs> and that there there's going to be two two phases or two pieces of this uh, whatever this rapture thing is and um, I believe based on the things that I've been shown that there's going to be a false rapture I guess for lack of a better term that comes first <clears throat> and that my boots will still be on the ground and that I'm part of whatever that second phase is and after whatever that first piece is that happens uh, then it's it's uh, it's gonna be a battle it's gonna be warfare um, but the scriptures you know that the father's giving me about this is saying that he's gathering his people together and he's talking about this is scriptures about the remnant Preserve your own portion and sanctify it. So, um, I don't know what else to say <laughs> about this. I know, every, I mean, we all have our own. We're just so stuck in our own belief system. I was for years and years and years thought, you know, I don't have to worry about that great tribulation last three and a half years, you know, 1,260 days, because I'm not going to be here. And uh, based on what the Father's been showing me since January, I am no longer convinced of that. And, you know, if I'm left behind, <laughs> I, I'm glad that I'm going to have my boots on the ground. And that um, the Father has shown me that I am to pick up my sword and join him in the battle. And that's what I will do. And I'll continue to blow the shofar. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam. Blessed are you, our Lord God, King of the Universe.